Merry Christmas! Hi, I'm Lisa. I'll introduce our new computer, Odroid U3. Odroid U3 is the microcomputer that has 1.7 GHz quad-core processor and 2 GB RAM, but it only costs 59 US dollars. Odroid U3 is suitable for anyone from professional software engineers to kids learning to program with the scratch language. The powerful 1.7 GHz quad-core processor and a Ubuntu and Android operating system, the Odroid U3 is the perfect modern computer. Let's go deep into Odroid U3 and see what we can do with this supercomputer. Let's go over the components of Odroid U3 before we begin. This is heatsink. Heatsink is standard on the Android U3 to dissipate the heat from the processor underneath of this. If we remove the heatsink, we can see the heart of Android U3. 1.7 GHz quad-core processor, 2 GB RAM, and graphics processor are all packaged in it. It is made by Samsung. We have a 3 USB ports. Power jack. We need to use a 5 volt power input here. The micro HDMI connector for display. And the micro USB connector. This micro USB connector is for data transfer only, not for power input. We have a standard Ethernet port. The power button to turn on or off the Android U3. We have a connector for backup battery here and a connector for cooling fan. This is the serial console for debugging. The other side, we have audio jack. We can connect a speaker or earphone here. The general purpose input and output port. This is a micro SD card slot. Different from the typical PCs, we need to install the OS on a micro SD card or an eMMC module. This is the eMMC module socket. The eMMC module is another way for operating system. eMMC storage access time is 3-4 times faster than the SD card. Using an eMMC module is similar to the way upgrading to SSD in a typical PC. That's all. Now we all know about the parts of Android U3. Let's turn on the Android U3. I have Android U3, 21 inch monitor, HDMI cable, plug it here and I have wireless keyboard and touchpad. This is from Logitech. It costs around 20 US dollars. It's very convenient and very useful. Connect to the wireless adapter here. This is USB Wi-Fi adapter for internet connection. Okay, plug it here. This is a Linux pre-installed eMMC module. You can also use micro SD card. But the eMMC module is a lot faster, so I'll use the eMMC module today. We need at least 8 GB storage. Clip the EMMC module here. Okay. And I need a 5 volt 2 ampere power supply. Plug the power supply to the power jack. Okay. When you plug the right power supply, the power indicator LED turns on. And most of cases, 
it automatically turns on. Once the OS starts running, the blue status LED turns on, and when the kernel is fully loaded, the blue light is flashing. It takes around 10 seconds. So let's zoom in what we have here. Okay. When you first turn on the Android U3, you will see the configuration window like this. Expand the file system. You should always choose this option. This will enlarge the file system to let you use the whole eMMC or SD card. Enter. OK. Internationalization option. You can set your language or country keyboard here. Advanced options. Config HDMI. It automatically detects your monitor resolution, but if not, you can select your monitor resolution here. It is automatically detected, so go back. And about Android config, you can see the information of this Android config. Finish. Would you like to reboot now? Yes. It's rebooting now. It totally takes around 10 to 15 seconds, maybe. Let's see what we have here. It's a full Linux operating system, web browser, mail reader, settings, accessories, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, some more things here. Okay, let's go to web browser. This is Android Forum. If you have any technical questions, you can post it here and our forum members will answer your questions. forum.odroid.com Let's see the latest technology news in Gadget. It's loading very fast. You can see the very fast web browsing. Even though there are lots of images, it is loading very fast. Okay, under the tab, what's the today's news? New York Times. This is today's news. Okay. There are plenty of more things that you can do with Android U3 microcomputer. I will come back with more interesting demos. Close the window and shut down. Bye bye.